Wake up, YouTube. Potsy here from Iron Out Fat with another product review. Now, I know I've had these for a while now, The uh, if you can read the title, the Quick Lock Iron Master Dumbbell Set. But I've also gotten the add-on, uh, which brings up to 120 pounds each uh, in the end. So we'll do uh, a whole video on this. Um, I will get to the uh, the part where I show you like kind of how they work and and the good parts and the bad parts. And this is my opinion on it uh, of this uh, product. If you don't like it, you can uh, bl blow me right there because I really don't give a fuck because it's my opinion. Um, so let's get to the details of this first. Okay, so I got my Quick Lock dumbbell set from Fitness Equipment of Ottawa because they were the only place close enough that was a, uh, a seller of this stuff. Um, I don't know what other place around Ottawa sells them if they do. I didn't. The, what I found was Fitness Equipment of Ottawa. So the link for uh, Fitness Equipment of Ottawa will be down in the description below if you want to check them out. Shout out to them. Uh, they gave me a really good deal, so I don't think the price is going to be anywhere similar to what I got it for, because I got it on a really good sale. I got, I'm pretty sure I got mine for $5.99 plus tax, uh, Canadian, and uh, that was the setup that comes with the, uh, the little rack or shelf unit to hold them. Uh, came with the handles, and it goes up to 75 pounds in 5 pound increments, if you want it to. So it's start off, you have this, which is your handle, and that's five pounds right there. It turns into 10 pounds as soon as you add in both of your little locking fucking screws. And if you notice, they're, uh, they're not full on screws. I'll, uh, I'll adjust this here. So they're not full on screws. You can tell that they've just got those there and what what it does is if you can I don't know if you can see that there's one that's where it slides in I think you can see that right there it's like a nope it's on the top there it's bare and it slides in and locks so it's 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 kind of a threading system but because there's a little notch this just slides straight down in and to whichever depth you need it, it slides and locks. So, with both of these on either end, that's 10 pounds. And what's next, you have your little uh, 2.5 pound plate, and that can bring your 10 pounds up to 15 pounds. And that's how you do your, that's how you do your five pound increments. It only comes with four of these 2.5s, only comes with the four 2.5s and the rest to make up the uh, 75 pounds is the five pound plates so you do five pounds you do five pounds on either side so you'll go from 10 pounds to 20 pounds and 30 and 40 and if you want to do just go in five pound increments you're gonna have to add two of these so for for example you would put one of these on here, one of these on each side with your locking pins in both sides and there you have 20 pounds. Add one of these on each side, that's 25 pounds. Take it away and add one more of these five pounders on each side, you've got 30 pounds. And then if you've got two on each side plus a small one, a 35 pounds. So. As you can see, you can go up in five print increments if you want. Now the one thing I've found that's a little uh, annoying about this setup is if you're just warming up, so uh, if you're warming up to say do he some heavy uh, incline benching or something and you want to use your 20, 30, and 40, and 50s to warm up to your working weight, it's a lot of switching back and forth or adding weight. And what I'm going to do shortly is I'm going to get, uh, I'm, I'm planning on getting five pound dumbbells all the way up to maybe 40 or 50 pounds because 
it's just a, it's a hassle especially if you have like a friend over working out with you and you're trying to like juggle how much weight you each use it's just easier to have the uh the lighter weights i i assume but in the long run it is cheaper to go this route depending on where you're buying it i guess actually no it's always going to be cheaper to go this route and we'll do the math on that here in a second and i'll show you why it's cheaper to go this route than to buy uh dumbbells separately because you may you may not like the initial price tag of this because like i said i got it on sale like a really good deal for 5.99 plus tax and i had to go pick it up myself and everything what i'll do is i'll bring up fitness depot and i'll bring up uh, canadian tire and we'll do some cost comparisons in this so on top of all that uh, i got the add-on kit like i think i mentioned before so it brings it up to 120 pounds we'll also do the cost comparison to that and i'll show you the difference between having weights like you would have in the gym from five pounds and then go up in five pound increments to 120 pounds i think you'll be a little surprised so if you do the math for 75 pounds of dumbbells uh now i the, the cheapest i could find i went to uh fitnessdepot.ca and they don't have any plain regular that i can see on their site and they don't have any plain regular just iron dumbbells canadian tire does and they're selling their one five pound dumbbell at 4.99 so i think it's safe to assume that it's not going to be easy to get lower than a dollar per pound on uh, your plain jane dumbbells so doing the math on that if it's a dollar per pound and you need two of them so two five pounds two tens two fifteens two twenties and up let's go to 75 pounds because uh that's what the Iron Master Quick Lock Dumbbells set is that I got. That comes with that stand, remind you. You're looking at $1,200 before tax. From 5 pounds up to 75 pounds in 5 pound increments, which is what the Quick Lock Dumbbell set gives you initially. $1,200 before tax. Now, so in comparison, uh, here in Ottawa, Ontario, you can go to Fitness Equipment of Ottawa, and not on sale, you can get the, the set from the Quick Lock Dumbbell set that goes from 5 pounds all the way to 75 in 5 pound increments, plus it comes with the uh, the stand, which is pretty neat. Not on sale, it's $8.49 before tax. So right there, you'd be stupid. If, if you're looking at going cost effective, you'd be stupid not to get the Quick Lock Dumbbell Set. It also comes with a lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. <laughs> and it's durable. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't those plastic fucking weights. Like, some of those plastic weights that you can get now by uh, Bowflex. Super junk. And what does it go up to? Like 45, 55 pounds? If you're serious about like pushing some heavy weight, like what's the point? And and they're plastic. Here we got uh, where are we? Yeah, Nautilus has their Select Tech 220 plastic dumbbell set. That's like a their quick similar like quick select. 128 bucks from two pounds to 20 pounds. Jesus. Why the fuck would you do that? It's just why would you buy junk? I don't understand why people are cheap and buy junk and then they fucking whine that it either doesn't work or it breaks or it doesn't last. Save up and spend the money on something that'll last. So that being said, you're already saving money if you buy the Quick Lock Dumbbells, the Iron Master Quick Lock Dumbbells, not at a sale price. But right now, and this is what, today is the 21st of March 2017 they're on sale for $6.79 so you're already getting 170 bucks off the retail so you, like that's a no-brainer you don't need dumbbells like if you got the money and the space and you want them then for by all means if I had the money and the space I'd have dumbbells from a hundred pounds or sorry five pounds 
two, sorry, two pounds, all the way up to, or all the way up to like, I don't know, 150 or something stupid. The like five to 75 pounds wasn't cutting it anymore. I needed more weight. So I went out and I bought the expansion pack, expansion pack for the uh, quick lock dumbbell set, which brings it, so it, it runs off of, you, you need the, I'm pretty sure they say to, for this set to bring it up to 120, you need this five to 75 pounds set up first. Because all they what they all they give you is uh, I'll show you here. They give you four of these babies, which are 22.5 pounds each, and they give you four of these. And these are longer. I'm sure I showed you in the other video if you watched it. Much longer because the weights get longer, wider, whatever you want to call it. And that's another pricey little addition, but we'll do the math on that. To keep it easy, we'll keep it at a dollar per pound. The math on getting an 80 pound dumbbell set up to 120 is $1,800 from an 80 pound set and then going in five pound increments up to 120. $1,800 just from 80 to 120. The cost in Ottawa at uh, Fitness Equipment of Ottawa is uh, $299. So 300 bucks plus tax. Let's see, 1200 to go from five pounds to 75, plus 1800 to go from, to get your 80 pounds to 120. So that's three grand in dumbbells alone before tax. You get the, uh, if you want to go with the quick lock dumbbell set with lifetime warranty, you know, let's do $849, which is the uh, price that it's uh, the retail price. Right now it's on sale. Mine like for their draw their take off $170. Ease of thinking, we'll do the retail price of $849 plus the $300, $1,149. So you're saving yourself almost $2,000 going with the quick lock dumbbell set. So, like, there you go. Now, that being said, the chances of you finding dumbbells past 80 pounds that are only a dollar per pound are quite unlikely. Because once you get into the heavy weights, that shit, the price, it go, it's not a, a dollar per pound anymore. You're not gonna find cheap weights at that weight. So, Let's go into the neg some negative things uh, I found about it. The quick lock option is cool and it's fast, but it can be a pain in the ass, like I said, for changing weights at the lower uh, weight set, or any weights really. If you have a friend over and they're not benching or pushing as much weight as you are, or they're pushing more weight, you have to you know, switch the weights around and unlocking these and pulling these out between sets, it can be a pain in the ass. So uh, another negative point is I found that depending on which dumbbell I'm using or which weights I'm using, because they're not exactly the same, I'll put this in and what happens is when you go to lock it, it'll spin all the way back around and pop, like it'll go all the way back around to its release point so you won't get that nice, real snug fit that you want. I don't really like the idea of my weights jingling, especially when you've got 90, 95 pounds above your head. I don't like that jiggling around. So you can, if, you have, if you're ballsy like that, you can not tighten it as much and uh, it'll be kind of loose, but it's, it'll, it'll stay. I just don't like it. Another thing, uh, I guess the third negative point I have is if you've got, uh, if you're at first, you don't understand how this works, and you take this and you spin that tight as hell, you're gonna have a fucking bitch of a time getting that shit off. Mark my words. Some I've, I've put those on just in the heat of the moment, tightened it up, and when I went to pull it off, I, I couldn't. Like, I had to go out and get some rubber bands or something to put around this, use two hands, have somebody hold the bottom of it to try and get it undone. So just nice and snug is good. But sometimes you can't get it snug, like I said, it'll spin right around and unlock itself. It'll get to that point. That, that's, that's my opinion on it. Is it worth the money? I believe so. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to spend three grand on dumbbells or more, 
and then plus you're gonna need a rack to hold all that. This, the rack that comes with this will hold, holds all my weights up top. I don't even keep them down below. I keep all, everything up top and I put like a little bin underneath the uh, thing. I'll show you here in a minute. All right, so this is the quick lock set, the quick lock dumbbell set. Um, you'll get all these little ones here. These are the five pound ones. It'll come with all of these when you get the, uh, the five to 75 pounds. With these little ones, you won't get these. These are the big ones, like I said. You get four of the big ones with the add-on kit. You'll get four of these small ones. As you can see, they're a lot shorter than the long ones. The long ones are meant for the expansion kit. And you'll get this nifty little rack here. And what I do is I have my junk in this bin. And I usually just throw it under here. And what I, I also have my uh, the 2.5, the smaller ones underneath because I don't use those. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It also comes with uh, comes with this Iron Master sticker here. I just threw it on my locker. I don't give a shit about stickers that much. Yeah, and that's it. The weights are pretty accurate. I have a scale. Uh, I'll show you what I use. I hang. I, hanged the, I hung the weights on this scale here and uh, they show to be pretty accurate like on the on the button so they're they're not uh, off by fucking two or three pounds like some people say they are they might have been in the when they first made them but uh, they're not for me all right so I'll try to look, give you a little demonstration here of what I'm talking about you take your your uh, pin and what you do is you line it up. If you notice, there's a little tiny notch there. And all you gotta do is line up your threads. It'll slide right down. And what you gotta do is you, you just spin it and it goes snug. And you, I can tighten it more. But that, that means it's a bitch to get off. Oh no, it's alright. And there you go, that's how quick it is. You just slide her in, lock it up, and she's done. All right, so that is the review for the Iron Master Quick Lock Dumbbell Set. I'm not sponsored by them or or anything like that. I don't get paid by them to do this. This is just my review on the product, and if it sounds like I like them, it's because I do. Uh, for the price, they're amazing. I like the feel of them. They don't rattle all over the place. They're nice and tight. Uh, and I don't know, they're, they're a good buy, especially when you got lifetime warranty on them like these do. Uh, I don't remember if they said there's lifetime warranty on the expansion pack. I really don't know. And to be honest, I don't really care because I, I don't think I'm going to be breaking them or anytime soon. I don't drop them. I did for a bit. Uh, I was like dropping the 75s on the ground and shit, but. I figured it's probably best not to. I, I, it's you know I spent the money on it, so why would I try and like why wouldn't I take care of them? So I stopped dropping them, but I did for a while. Nothing ever happened. And, it, and I got the rubber mats too. I didn't drop them on concrete floor or anything like that. That's just stupid. That's asking for trouble. Uh, so I'll leave the link to uh, all these, all the places that I where I got my information from and where I bought them from. Um, if you need any more information or if there's something I missed that you think I missed or you want more of a demonstration or an in-depth look into them, I don't know how much more in-depth I could get, but if you want to see it, comment below, let me know and I'll get back to you with an answer or a video like I've done in the past. So you know what to do if you like this shit, comment, subscribe, hit that like button and share it with everybody you fucking know. Till next time. Oh, wrong. Huh.